Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to create a formula that checks whether a date is greater than a specific date or not. And we are going to learn this concept for both Salesforce Lightning as well as the classic edition. So let's proceed and firstly see uh, the formula to confirm if the date is greater than a specific date or not. So in Salesforce, if you want to compare the date field with the predefined date value to check that whether it is a greater than a particular date or not, we use the comparison operators. We will use greater than or greater than equal to operator. So let's proceed and learn to use this concept in Salesforce Lightning and learn to create the formula. So here I open my Salesforce account and by default it is open in a lightning edition. But I am not on a main setup of a home page. For this reason I have to click on this gear icon and here I get option of a setup under which it is written as a setup for the current tab. So when I click on it, it open up a new tab with the main home lightning experience home page or a setup. In this page you will Get a object manager option in the main navigation bar next to a home page. Click on this and from here you will get the list of all the objects that are available in Salesforce. Here we have a quick find box on the right side on a top where you can search for the object in which you want to apply this formula. So I am going to show you the example for the product object. So I search for the product and here I get a product option. So I click on it. So after clicking that I redirect to the product options page where I get a field and relationship option on a left side and a second point. So I click on that one and it shows me all the fields and the that are available in the product. But I am going to create a new field because I need to create a formula for that reason I need a field that is a formula type. So I click on this new button to create a new field. So now you are on the step where you have to choose the field type specifies what kind of information you want to store in this field. So as we are going to check whether the date is greater than or not for this reason we have to create a formula. For that reason I click on the formula radio box and click the next button to proceed to the next step. After proceeding to the next step it asks me to enter the field label name for the formula and the field name. So here I click on the field label name and enter my formula field label as a amount plus extra charges. And when I click on the field name it automatically filled up. So when I scroll down it asks me to choose the formula return type. The type in which you want to get the result back. So as we are talking about the charges we always need in a currency form. So I click on this currency. Under this it shows me option of a decimal places. You have to choose the decimal places to which point you want to get the currency value. By default its value is 2 but I change it to the 1 and click the next button to proceed to the next step. Now once I proceed to the next step it opens up a advanced formula tab where we have to enter the formula. Now on the right side hand we have option of a function so in all the with all different categories such as date and time, logic, math, text, advanced. From all these categories check the function that you want to use. So I am using the if function and for inserting the operator we here have option of insert operator button with drop down menu. So when I click on it it shows me all the operators that can I insert. So from this list of operator you can choose the operators. I am for inserting the different fields in the formula here we have option of insert fields and here are the different fields that are of the product type. So let's enter the formula first. So here I enter the formula and click on this check syntax button to check whether the syntax is true or false. So it shows that there is no syntax error in the merge fields or a function. So now I explain you this function here I use the if function that used to check whether the formula determine the payment due date is greater than the purchase date plus five days. So here in this if first statement we use the payment due date field with the greater than operator that check whether it is greater than purchase date plus five days. Okay if this condition 
is true it moves to the second if the second if checks that the payment due date greater than the purchase date plus 10 so the second if statement determines whether the payment deadline exceed the purchase date plus 10 days so it check use the payment due date is greater than purchase date plus 10 so if so it increases the price by rupees 100 otherwise the price is increased to the rupees 50 so if the formula not get matched up above two statement it returns the original price it means if your due date is not greater than five days it returns the price you can also add the description and head text if you want and here is the next button to click on to move to the next step so i move to the next step and now this time it asked me to establish the feed label security here you have to select the profiles to whom you want to grant the edit assess of this field so here are the different profiles you can select any of the one as per your requirement if you will not select any of the profile it it will not allow the field level security to that profile so i am going to allow it to the all profile so i click on this visible checkbox and click on the next button to proceed to the next step now in this step we have to add the page layout here you have to select the page in which you want to include this field so if you doesn't select the page it will not include it the page is by default selected so i simply click on the save button so it save the procedure so with this we have create a formula in salesforce lightning that checks whether the date is greater than specific date or not now to check that whether it is working or not we have to go to the product item so i click on my app launcher from here i search for my products and when I click on the products, it open up the products that I have in my system. So here I open up a product. So here I have to enter the purchase due date and this thing. So let's enter it first. So here I enter the payment due date as a 4-14-2023. Purchase date as a 4 Four seven two thousand twenty three, and here I enter up the price as a four thousand and click on a save. So here you can see that when I click on a product, it will shows the amount plus extra charges to rupees fifty. It is when when the payment due date is greater than the purchase date plus five days. So now let's check whether it is working for the ten days or not. So I again click on it. I change my purchase date to March 22nd. Now when I click on it, you can see that it adds up a 100. So with this, we have successfully learned to check to create a formula that checks whether the date is greater than a specific date or not and applying some condition on it according to our requirement. So now let's proceed and learn this thing with the classic. So I click on my profile. Here I get an option of a Salesforce classic. I click on the Salesforce classic to redirect to the classic edition. After moving to the classic one, here on the top I have option of a setup. On the right side I click on it. So when I click on a setup, I scroll down and on the left side we have a build section. I move to this one. Under this I have a customized option. Uh, drop down I click on it and from here we have a uh, different objects so we have to select the object on which you want to apply this formula I am going to show you example for the camping so I click on it then I click on the fields option as we are going to create a new formula field so after opening it I scroll down and here I get a section of a camping custom fields and relationship with the new button so I click on the new button as I want to create a new formula. After that, here I get a formula field type. I have to select this one as our main agenda is to create a formula that checks whether the grade is grid, date greater than some specific date or not. Now here I have to enter the field label. So for entering the field label, here I type upcoming date and I click on when I click anywhere, it field name automatically populated. When I scroll down, 
it ask me to choose the formula return type as we are dealing with the upcoming date so it always return a result in a date format so i choose the date one and click on the next button to proceed to the next step now in the next step it ask me to enter up the formula for the taking up date is greater than specific date or not so for this if you want to use any function you can go to the function section and choose the function for using the operator you can click on this insert operator button and you can choose the operator for inserting the field you can click on this insert field button and choose the fields of the counting so now i enter my formula and then i explain you and after entering the formula i click on check syntax button it shows that there is no error in the formula so now i explain you this one here i use the if statement uh generate that whether the camping end date of the month is greater than 15 or not for that reason i use the day function and pass end date to it which fetch out which fetch the day of the end date and uh, i use the greater than operator to check that whether whether it is greater than 15 or not if it is it moves to the next part and it set the upcoming due date to the 5th of the next month using the date formula here i use the date function it passes a year to it and set it as per the end date set the month as the end date plus 1 to uh, go to the next month and set the date as a 5 and if the date is not greater than 5 here i set up the date as a 30 of the same month for this i use the date function pass year function to it which set the year according to the end date set month according to the end date and set day as the 30 so after that you can see that here we have option of a description and a help text you can also add it and even handle the blank fields then click on the next button to proceed to the next step now here we have to establish the field level security here you have to check up the profiles to whom you want to grant the edit access of this field so i want to grant the edit access of this field to all the profiles so i click on this visible check box and click on the next button to proceed to the next step now here we have to choose the page layout to which you want to add this field so here we have only one page layout name as a camping layout which is already selected so i remain the step as it is and click on the save button so once i click on the save button is successfully create a formula that checks the whether the date is greater than a specific date or not so now it's time to check whether it is working or not so i click on this plus icon that is on a navigation bar from here i choose the camping item so i am searching for the camping so here is the camping so i click on it i open any camping now here the start date is 6 of 3 6 of a fourth month 2023 so which is not greater than the 15 so the upcoming date you can see that set up as a 30 of a fourth month 2023 so now let's edit it and change the end date to the 18 which is greater than 15 okay so when you save you can see that the upcoming date is set up to the Fifth of the next month, that is the fifth also, and here is the 2023. With this, we have learned to create a formula in a classic addition that checks whether the date is greater than the specific date or not, and apply a condition according to our requirement. So, if this video was helpful, click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos. So, thanking you and have a great day.